It's my get back to the heart of God, his principles and his precepts. We believe this country, this culture truly needs a spiritual revival. Because I think it's good if we go back to our founding. We go back to our founding in a culture and in a society that screams out, we need to evolve, we need to evolve. Sometimes I think we need to go back to the timeless standards. The timeless standard where God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. In fact, colonial state and federal governments issued over 1,400 official calls to prayer between 1620 and 1815. The Founding Fathers clearly were convinced of the efficacy of prayer. This country was built on a foundation of prayer. It then goes on, he says, the prayer well known to the Founding Fathers appeared in the American public school textbooks for well over two centuries. That the Lord's Prayer was in our textbooks for over two centuries. A deep commitment to prayer, getting back to our roots. I think it would be good when policymakers who are designed or who are elected to make laws, create laws, that they would go back to this resource and find out what did the founders intend. And we felt for the legislators, not only do we want to give them the word of God, which never returns null and void, we thought it would be an incredible gift to also give them a bit of information on our history. And largely because the people in this room and uh, several others who are not here today, we're going to be able to give one to every single legislator of the Iowa Capitol and also the entire executive branch of the state of Iowa will be receiving these today. We're heading up the hill to take Bibles to legislators and to the executive branch and boy what a difference that will make in the way they govern if they understand God's plan for government. And this isn't just any Bible, this is the Founders Bible. Fabulous representation of the founding of our nation the belief of the Founding Fathers, their fear of God, their understanding of the Scriptures, and how it applies to everyday life and the government they formed around that. I'm Ryan Jorgensen from Harvest Bible Chapel here in the Des Moines area. So excited to be here to represent Christ to the legislators of Iowa. We're going to give a Founders Bible to Walt Rogers, who's our representative in that area. Mary Mossman, our auditor, I presented her with a Bible. We prayed together. She was amazed when we began to talk about some of the things in the Founder's Bible. One of the things was I asked her, do you know where the three branches of government come from? She said she did not know. And I said, well, it comes from Isaiah 33, 22, where it says, the Lord is our lawgiver, judge, and king. She was very intrigued by that. I shared some other neat historical pieces of information about Christian heritage. And she was willing to pray and a very lovely person who uh, we were able to just, uh, I think, impact in a great way. We're glad to give it and we pray that uh, they'll take it and read it. At least we have the privilege of giving it to them. That's a real honor and a blessing. And I just thank Family Leader for putting this together. And I think what a wonderful opportunity it is that we're able to do this in our entire state. Thank you. Kind of just a very real privilege to be able to be here today. I can't think of a more important place for God's Word to be at than in this place light shining in darkness. What a privilege it is to be able to rub shoulders with this people, give them encouragement from God's Word, pray for them, and just knowing that uh, the Lord is going to be with them and that somebody's out there actually praying for them. Someone actually cares about the decisions that they're making. And I'm here at the Capitol building hoping to uh, see Representative Peter County today to present him a Bible. Uh, we just really want to pray for him and pray for all the legislators and I hope and pray that he will read the scriptures and that he will understand who God is and why government is important and how we need to found our principles for government on God's word. And that's really our heartbeat is to see more people understand the gospel and to hope uh, that our legislators will also understand the importance of God in our country. Just encouraging them to, to uh, vote righteousness and uh, keep godly values in mind when they're doing what they're doing and let them know that we're praying for them and that uh, they will have an opportunity to see God's Word in a different way as we look at the Word of God and relate that to what the founders were thinking when they wrote the original documents that founded our nation, the Declaration of Independence and our Constitution. 
and it was it was it was even more interesting because we got to uh, do a little bit of research about you know the bills that he's been postponing and uh, it's also where he's from and and how he serves the other uh, six months out of the year. I found we found out that they only are actually here. Um, for four to six months out of the year and they only spend four days a week here and they spend a lot of time away from their families. And it was really cool to see how much they sacrifice for us and, and the way that they do it and to pray for them and in those moments where they are able to be with their families and to make the most out of them and help them realize that people do care about what they're doing, we appreciate them and that we will lift them up continually for the rest of the year. Today I'm pleased to be able to present this to my representative Chris Hagenow and I'm going to encourage him to, to read this, to study it, and to be blessed by it. And I'm so thankful for the opportunity to do that today. I just want to say thank you to uh, Pastor A.J. Potter and Pleasantville Baptist Church, uh, who were who the, uh, the ones that uh, gave me this Bible, uh, this Founder's Bible. I sure appreciate it. Um, I also want to thank all of the, the uh, churches that were involved in in getting this uh, getting this project uh, to uh, together, and uh, so that all every representative and every senator could receive one, and also the governor's office as well. So, a big thank you and a tip of the hat to to everyone involved. We are so blessed to have pastors and other Christians from all over Iowa here today. They braved the snow. They're blessing their legislators, and we hope it's the beginning of a great long-term relationship where churches and Christians will bless our elected officials. If we're going to change our culture, we're going to have to change it in a way that Jesus told us to. And that was by you and I to engage our neighbor in a long-term relationship.